Hello and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining us. My name is Lisa Monison and my husband and I create and build furniture as well as refurbish furniture. Today's project is this three drawer chest. Boy was it a mess. This was something that I had sitting for about seven months after trying to citrus strip the piece. I kind of gave up for a while um, and decided I needed a break from it. Uh, the piece was peeling horribly so I had to start from fresh. Look at this horrible citrus strip situation. So we sanded her down and here she is all completed. Uh, boy, was she a lot of work. We went ahead and repainted, primed, sanded, uh, finished it up, left some of the character of the oldness of this piece. It is an antique piece. Um, so, I mean, there are some natural dents and things in it that we decided to leave for character. Uh, I resanded the top fully because the top of that literally was peeling off in sheets. Then I decided to add a light floral stencil that I distressed lightly to make it a little more muted. We added a wooden emblem in the center that we also painted and added some high relief to. The bottom has a beautiful curve to it and the feet, boy did I struggle with the feet deciding what I wanted to do, but I wanted to give it a very rustic antique look to match the wood top. The handles were completely replaced as well as inside the drawers. We did a uh, paper contact paper in a newsprint. And you can see also that I added some stripes to the side of this piece. Here I am showing you how I use Dixie Bell's Big Mama's Butter on the inside of the drawers, which is a delicious orange scented oil that helps restore the wood um, that could be dry, which I did sand the inside of the drawers because there was a lot of staining. Um, and this just brings back that natural luster and has a delicious orange scent. They also carry it unscented, but I love the orange citrus scent. I mean, you can just see the difference in how it just brightens those drawers right up. Here's a closer look of the emblem that was put on the front to just give it a little more pizzazz. I love it. I think it really ties in with the wooden top and just jazzes up the drawers. Handles are beautiful. And there again is that top, which was sanded and done in a weathered wood and then sealed in a poly acrylic. Overall, I'm extremely excited at how this came out after it sat for so long, not knowing what to do with it and kind of giving up on it. She has a new life now and is beautiful and ready to be in someone's home. If you're interested in this piece, you can reach out to our website at olivebranchhomestudios.com on Facebook or one of our other social medias um, and contact us there for pricing and information and to see our other work. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Have a great day.